Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sabrina and today I am filming a really fun video. I'm sharing some of my Disney favorites, some of the things that I always bring with me to the parks. Some of these are kind of obvious things. I'm looking around at them. Some of them are kind of obvious things and some of them are just little tips that I have kind of picked up throughout the years of going to the parks and going to the parks frequently. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. Um, I don't really have a number. I don't know how many things I have. I have like a bunch of stuff that I just kind of pulled as if I were packing to go to the park right now. So first off, I just want to say that usually when I go to the parks, I do have some kind of headband or ears, something of that nature that I wear, but I always pack in my backpack um, a hat just because Florida is really, really hot and it can get really, really sunny and having a hat can make all the difference. Um, it's really important to protect your face. And yeah, so I usually have a hat. These are two of my favorite Disney little hats. Um, but yeah, so those are very helpful. So sometimes I will switch out my headband or my um, ears and I will wear my hat for a little bit just to kind of give my face a break from the sun because like I said, it is Florida, it is hot and it gets brutal. Next up, I always, always, always bring a insulated water bottle. This one is um, Mana brand. I'm not sure. I think we got these at Target. Um, but this, anything that is kind of like an insulated water bottle, this will keep water cold for so, so long and it holds a decent amount of water. It's not super, super heavy. Um, so I can throw it in my backpack and, you know, kind of be set. And anywhere that you go, um, whether it be a quick service or any of the food booths along the parks, if they have a soda fountain or, um, like a, any kind of like bar setup, um, and they have access to water, they will always give you a free cup of water, of ice water, and then you can continuously just refill this up and make sure that you stay hydrated um, and not have to spend like, I think it's like four, five dollars on a water bottle. Um, and they only have Dasani water bottles and I'm not a big fan of those. So I'd rather just take this, get my free water throughout the day and stay hydrated. Next up, I have this little guy. So this is a, it's actually a tote bag. So it kind of closes up like this and I will just throw this in my backpack and then do, 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 without further ado, it opens up into a bag. Isn't that cool? So this is where it started and then now it's a whole entire bag. And this, I mean, I don't really have a specific use for it, but you never know when you're gonna need a little bag just to put something in, or maybe if you buy something and you wanna put it in a bag, or just, I don't know, it just gives me peace of mind to have this and it doesn't take up very much space. I got this at the dollar store. Um, they have all kinds. We have like a one that looks like an ice cream cone. Um, but these are super, super helpful. So I would always just carry this because you never know, maybe you need somewhere to put your ears. <laughs> My dog is staring at me through the window and he's giving me the meanest little glare ever. Next up is a snack. I always bring a healthy snack with me. This is just an almond and coconut nut bar. Um, it's from Good and Gather, it's from Target. I always try to bring a healthy snack with me because I know that throughout the day, I will eat a lot of sugar. I'm gonna have a lot of junk food. I'm probably gonna have something unhealthy um, throughout the day. So I like to have a snack with me. That way, if I do start to get hungry or I just need a break and I just wanna sit down and have some water and eat a snack, I don't have to worry about finding something. Sometimes I'll pack like crackers um, or maybe like cashews, peanuts, something. It's just something quick that I can munch on and not feel like I'm only eating pure sugar. Okay, next up, I have my sunglasses. I think these are kind of a standard thing, everybody knows. It is really hot and sunny in Florida and wearing sunglasses can make all the difference. Protect your eyes. Let's see, I put everything, I guess I'll do my popcorn bucket next. I put all my stuff like randomly as I was going around my house in the popcorn bucket. So we have the rest of my stuff that I feel is important to bring to the parks. Um, hand sanitizer, of course, especially right now, everybody knows that hand sanitizer is a hot commodity, but I have always brought hand sanitizer with me to the parks. I always have it strapped onto my bag and I'm always ready. Um, after every ride, I always hand sanitize. I try to go into the bathrooms and wash my hands as much as possible um, all the time whenever I am at the parks. So hand sanitizer is definitely a must. Um, next up, I always bring chapstick. Chapstick is so important. Um, this is just one of my favorites. It is a Vaseline lip therapy. I can usually find these at the dollar store and they last a really long time and they feel really good on your lips. And then this is a Magic Band Buddy. Super cute. It is a little donut and this is from an Instagram. I don't know if they're 
I know they have an Instagram. I don't know if they're an Etsy shop or if they're just their own website, um, but the shop name is Believe Dream Imagine, and they have all kinds of really, really cute uh, magic band buddies just like this one and I have a Frushi one I have a baby Groot one I have oh goodness I have a bubblegum wall one I have all kinds of them and I have noticed within the last few years I've kind of stopped wearing my magic band I just find it kind of annoying to always have it on get sweaty um, and I usually have bracelets and all kinds of other stuff going on so I prefer to just take my magic band apart pop the center in here and then just have this on my bag and when I go into the park I can just scan this when I have my fast passes I can scan it and then I don't have to worry about wearing my magic band or losing my magic band it just clips right on and these are pretty affordable I believe they're anywhere from like 10 to 15 dollars and they're always running sales um, so I would encourage you to follow them on Instagram and check them out because I love all of their products so much okay next up this one is kind of for my ladies um i know that this is something that i experience um whenever i'm in the parks and it is hot outside and i'm wearing shorts or a skirt or anything that is not full pants which i feel like i very rarely wear full length pants to the parks just because it is usually so hot but um these are the way that i beat chafing so this is the first one and i got this one at target and it's a little beat up because it's been in my backpack for a while but it's basically just like a deodorant stick and this is an anti-chafe stick so you basically put this in between your legs in between your thighs wherever you chafe and this will save you this one was the first one that i discovered and i really like it however this is my absolute favorite in the whole whole world it is it feels like if you use primer like makeup on your face like makeup primer that's what it feels like it's that like powder liquid finish situation i think this is really really helpful just from like talking with my friends i know that a lot of us have experienced this before and it is the most uncomfortable thing ever to chafe so i would definitely suggest picking up one of these probably i would encourage you to buy this one this one is also from target so definitely check those both out then, of course, I always bring a popcorn bucket with me. If you don't have a popcorn bucket, I would encourage you to buy one, especially if you are going to Disney a lot, um, because it's only two bucks to refill it, and you get a lot of popcorn, and it's a great snack. It's really fun to try the different popcorns at Epcot. Um, they have some fun flavors, and again, two bucks, and you have an entire full snack that's really shareable. Um, I don't tend to bring my collectible popcorn buckets with me just because I don't like to clean them out and have like to deal with all of that and I feel like you get the most popcorn in these and I believe these are 10 or 15 dollars in the park so it is a good investment and it's pretty easy to carry around it's not that heavy okay next up we have my rain jacket this is a Columbia rain jacket it is pretty thick um, but not too thick it kind of reminds me of what they wear in Tomorrowland um, and in the People Mover, like their outfits. I don't know why, it just kind of reminds me of it. But this whole entire um, jacket folds up into a pocket right in here. So I just fold it up and then I can put it in my backpack and it gets really tiny. So as you can tell, I really enjoy things that get compact because I don't like to carry a huge backpack with me. I try to keep it very, I mean, I know I just showed you like a hundred things that I bring with me, but I try to keep it very minimal to things that I know I will need and use. Um, so definitely that is really helpful. And um, I would encourage you to also go by the dollar store or even Walmart and they have little ponchos that are like about this big they're plastic and they're usually at uh, walmart i believe they're like 85 cents and i love those because this rain jacket is good for when you're coming in and out of like drizzling and light weather um but when it is pouring and you need to get to point a from point a to point b an umbrella is not going to cut it in my opinion it is really hard to walk through disney world with an umbrella you're going to hit people people are going to bump into you if the wind is heavy it is going to like fly up um, so an umbrella is very challenging, but if you have a full poncho on, you'll stay dry and you'll be able to just, like once you get to where you're going, be able to just take it off and toss it. And I would keep a few of those in my bag just to kind of always have them on hand. Another thing that I really love to wear at Disney are Chacos. I have recently become a Chaco lover. Um, it all started because they had them on sale at Sam's Club for like 50 bucks and Chacos are normally way more than that. Normally like $100, $110. So I was like, hey, let's give these a try. My whole family, we all bought them and we have been loving them. They are the 
best shoes for Florida weather. They are so comfortable. I suffer from plantar fasciitis and it was really hard for me to find shoes that I could wear all day at the park and Chacos are definitely that for me. I can wear them all day. And best part is they are waterproof. So if it rains, I don't have to worry about wet feet. I hate the feeling of feet in tennis shoes when they're wet. It just grosses me out. You'd think in Florida I'd like desensitize to it, but I think us Floridians are the most finicky about it because it's happened to us so many times. Um, but wearing Chacos, you can totally, you could wear them, walk through puddles, and then they will dry very quickly. Um, and it's just very convenient. So I would encourage you to check out getting some Chacos. I would encourage you to try having these things with you. Some other things I didn't include that are kind of, for me, no-brainers, but I'll just mention just for the heck of it. Um, always make sure that you have sunscreen, um, body sunscreen, so maybe like a spray can of sunscreen, and then face sunscreen, and make sure that you're applying it continuously throughout the entire day. Hydrating is just as important as protecting your skin from the sun, and that's why wearing hats is so important. But yeah, I would like to know some of your Disney must-haves, some of the things that you always bring with you to the parks. Um, I feel like there's a lot of other stuff that I bring, but it just depends on the time of year. Um, obviously, if it is a little chillier outside, I'm obviously gonna bring some more jackets or maybe some gloves. Yes, I've worn gloves to Disney before. As a Floridian, I feel like when it gets cold, we panic and we just bring everything that is warm because we don't know what it's like to be cold and it freaks us out, <laughs> to be completely honest. But yeah, so those are some of my favorites and I hope that they were helpful and I would like to know your favorites. So please let me know what are some things that you always bring with you to the parks, maybe some random stuff, maybe your favorite park snack to bring with you or your favorite chapstick, anything of that nature, please let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and an awesome rest of your week. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.